Hi, welcome back to another vlog. I posted the St. Paddy's Day vlog up yesterday, which was Thursday, so um, we're just heading into the weekend here. It's another glorious day. Zoom around so you can have a look. So in case you're wondering, this building over here, this is the edge which is a pretty incredible like lookout over the city. I don't know if I zoom in here, will you be able to see? You can see the kind of triangle ledge at the top. You can just about see some little black dots. That's actually people up on the edge having a lookout. So it's a nice day. I went to the gym this morning. I'm going out now to just do a little bit of admin. I wanna to go to the post office and send a wee thing home. And then I am heading up to meet Stuart after work and we're going to go to a, a restaurant. It's called Jacob's Pickles which is on Amsterdam Avenue. So many people have recommended it. The food is meant to be incredible. They do like authentic American biscuits and gravy and grits and gumbo. I've tried biscuits, which the only way I would describe it is a mix between soda bread back home and a scone. So it's savory, but it's a scone. It's not like a cakey scone. So we're gonna go there for dinner tonight. And then tomorrow, Stuart is actually getting his vaccine which is just incredible. I'm like, I'm going with you, just in case, you know, he has some side effects or something. So I'm just gonna wait across the street. <laughs> I'll maybe go to Starbucks and get one of my cold brews now that I've discovered I like those. Yeah, I'll just be the dutiful wife and wait for him in case something happens and he like collapses on the way home. But for that reason, we haven't really made plans or set any kind of plants in stone yet this weekend, just to see how he gets on with that. I know for the most part, people have generally been okay, but I'm just really excited that he's been able to get an appointment and get that. And hopefully I should be able to get mine around May time. And we can't wait for life to feel a lot more normal. I know it is already more normal over here than back home. There's been a lot more freedom and stuff, but we're just excited to be able to make the most of actually going traveling outside of New York State and not have to get tested all the time as well. So funny enough, Jacob's Pickles are known for their pickles. So we had to get those as a starter. They're called cukes over here, which I'm guessing is because they're like cucumbers, pickled cucumbers. Um, and they were so tasty, but I just couldn't believe the portion. Like we definitely could have got one main meal between the two of us because it was just so big. And their Jacob's pickles are also known for their beer, their pickles and their biscuits. So I got a beer, but did not expect to get one this size. This is my reaction to the size of the meal that I ordered. So I think I got like this Southern, barbecue Southern chicken. And as you can see, it came with a lot of cheese. That's the biscuit, by the way. So you can see that it does look like soda bread. And you also got a side of grits, which is, I think the way I would describe it is that it's like semolina with cheese. Um, so I actually swapped and took Sturt's dinner instead, which was like a sausage gravy. And as you can see, there was lots of leftovers for lunch the next day. Stuart was feeling really good after his vaccine and we decided to go straight for some breakfast. It was around 9am and we went to a place called Citizens of Chelsea which has the most incredible food. 
Stuart got like a brekkie bowl and I got some banana bread and then we just headed back to the apartment so Stuart could watch the rugby and then we had the leftover grits and barbecue chicken from the night before. Okay, so I have a perfume recommendation for you. Um, if you're someone that really likes like Lady Million by Paco Rayban or um, Olympia or the Longcom kind of scents, Marc Jacobs, things like that. Um, I really wanted to get like a nice perfume whenever I moved over here. I actually use Jenny Glow, which is like a fake version of Jo Malone, and it has done me very well. I've had it for definitely around a year. Um, so for my birthday when we went to the outlet at Woodbury Common a couple of weeks ago. Uh, I picked up a new perfume. I really wanted the new Longcom one. That's the really, you know, the thin bottle that looks like a mobile phone that like slips into your bag. Uh, it was over a hundred dollars like it was crazy expensive I think it was like hundred and twenty dollars for that bottle so I did like a lot of of the smell tests and the lady really recommended um, a perfume that is the nicest smell I've ever smelt and I was like I definitely need to buy that the only thing is the bottle is the most ugly bottle <laughs> I've ever seen in my life. Like, I'm so fickle, I always want to get a perfume that looks as nice as it smells. But I made the sacrifice on this one because it was, I think it was around $50. But because it was in the outlet and we bought a scent each, I got it for cheaper. Um, but the smell is so good. So if you're looking for a recommendation for a perfume, and you don't mind the hideous bottle, then please buy this. It's Midnight Silhouette by Cristiano Suriano. And I think he was on, I think it's America's Next Top Model or like Project Runway or something like that. He's, a, I think he's a fashion designer. I really should do my research and tell you exactly. But Google him and, and he's brought out his own scents. And honestly, it smells so good. I definitely recommend it, I just don't like the bottle. So if you're looking for a new scent, coming up to your birthday or Christmas time, that's the one to get. I also love that I feel I have to say this, but like definitely not sponsored, never sponsored. Yeah, I, I genuinely just think it is a brilliant perfume and Stuart's currently watching the rugby. So I thought now's the time to give you a recommendation of a perfume that I like. So I always give off to Stuart because I keep telling him that he needs to be more enthusiastic for my vlogs. So this is him really showing off his trainers for you guys. Hope you feel it. So I got another cold brew. Uh, this is a tall honey almond milk cold brew with a shot of sugar-free cinnamon dolce syrup. And it is perfection because for a tall, it's only 30 calories, 0.5 grams of fat and five grams of sugar. Cheers. So Saturday was a bit of a quiet one. We just decided to go to some of the local shops in our area. We headed to TJ Maxx and Marshalls for a little look around, but it was super busy on Saturday with lots of queuing up and waiting to actually get inside the shops. So we're in Hudson Yards and we have a little tradition where we come here, we go to Shake Shack, and we get a vanilla shake, which um, is basically an ice cream, isn't it? It's like ice cream from Fusco's back home, if you know what Fusco's is. Um, so we're gonna go do that now. We've just been out shopping for a while.
mean, it wouldn't be a weekend vlog without lots of brunch, right? So this place was new, we haven't been there before. And yes, it looks very similar to the Citizens of Chelsea breakfast, but this place was called Banter. And this smoothie was life. Banana, dates, honey, cinnamon, yes please. So on Sunday we decided to check out the Natural History Museum because on Sundays you can pay whatever you want. So I think it's around $25 per person but we got in for $20 altogether. Hey guys, it's editing Lindsay here. I'm back in my chair. Uh, this is what I look like when I'm doing my edits. Zero makeup on. You can see all my freckles are out in force because of the tiny little bit of sunshine that we've had this week. So who knows what I'll look like in the summer. Um, sorry that this vlog was a little bit short this week, but next weekend Stuart and I are heading to Long Island. So I'm really looking forward to being able to record some new things and explore a new area as well. So I'm gonna finish the vlog there for this week. Um, thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.